All right, everybody, big day today in the bee yard. It's a beautiful September day. As you can see, the goldenrod is pretty much past. I was hoping for big fall flow because we had crazy rain this year. All the flowers looked huge and like they were gonna be pumping out nectar. But from what I can tell, there was not a huge fall flow this year. We still have sun chokes coming up and there's still knotweed all over the place. So I, if there's anything to be brought in, the bees are bringing it in. But the, the hives are not really heavy right now, uh, the supers. Um, but today I got a big day. I'm gonna take everything off of the hives that the, the bees don't need. I'm gonna be removing supers that, they aren't, that aren't full. I'm gonna take any uh, honey that's capped. Um, I'm gonna try and probably leave out honey that's not capped for them to rob back so they can fill their brood boxes. Uh, everyone's gonna get condensed down to brood box size today. I'm gonna make sure everyone's queen right. If uh, there's any non-queen right hives, I can introduce queens from resource hives because I have those backup hives. I'm also gonna do mite tests if, uh, if I get to that today and hopefully this week start treating for mites and feeding syrup for the fall. Big day today. One more thing of note that I wanted to mention was I've been watching my hive temperatures all summer long with the brood minder temperature and humidity sensors in all the hives. And all summer long, the bees have been maintaining that ideal brood temperature of like 92 to 98 degrees. On the hottest days of the year, you know, when it's sweltering hot outside, the temperatures are still like in that range. And the spring when temperatures were dipping down in the 50s at night, they were still maintaining that 90 degrees or so in the brood zone. But a couple days ago, I noticed all the hives started having wild temperature swings. Like right when the temperature started getting cold at night, all the hives just started getting cold at night. And then they'd warm up during the day and then drop down at night. And some of these hives, you know, have been going down in the 70s in the brood zone, which immediately I thought, uh oh, there's something wrong with all my hives. All the queens are gone, there's no brood, something's wrong. I think what might be happening is because the supers are still on the hives, the bees are having a hard time maintaining temperature on cold nights because the heat's just going up into the supers and, and leaving the hives. So that's another reason why I wanna take the supers off and get them condensed down so they can just maintain their brood temperature a lot easier. All right, pine hive. This is the hive I split the most this year. There's uh, three other pine hives now in the bee yard. So we have four pine queens from one hive in one season. So any nearly capped frames I'm gonna put away and harvest. And anything that is uncapped, uh, I'm gonna leave for them to rob back into their brood box. Because the supers are for harvesting. The bees are gonna live down in the brood box for the winter. Um, this is, you know, barely anything up here. Pretty light. Yeah, you know what I think happened this year? We had a dearth. And I think what happened was these supers were pretty heavy in late July. And then August hit and we had a dearth and they used up what they had stored in July because there was a lot more honey in these hives. And they just needed it. They used it. So I'm kind of glad I didn't harvest in July. I mean, nothing was capped. But these things were heavy and now they're you know, there's just not much there. You know, it's fine. I don't need the honey. I don't need to harvest. I, I want the bees to, to have food. See, that's, that's new nectar right there. That looks good. But, you know, I, I can't harvest that. It's definitely not capped or anything. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this back to them to rob because I can't use this honey. I can't harvest that but they can. All right, time to check for queen right and do a quick mic test. If I can find the queen. Okay, this frame's full of eggs. It's all freshly laid there. Definitely queen right. Queen is laying a lot of eggs. There's a lot of young larvae in here. Population is okay, but there's a lot of larvae. There's, there's another solid month of brood building in this hive.
Okay, I could not locate the queen, so no mite test on this hive. They threw a zero mite test four weeks ago, so I'm not expecting many mites, but I didn't get to them. So, just a note, did not do a test. So the deal is, I'm going to put the inner cover right here. I'm going to open these things up so the bees can come up. And then I'm going to put the supers on top so the bees hopefully will come up and rob their honey back and put it back down in the brood box. created a robbing problem. Mm -hmm. There's robin happening over here. Move these. Man, they're just robbing everywhere. All right, there's a ton of robbing happening right now, so I gotta be quick. Every single frame is halfway capped in the supers. They're all half capped and then half just wet. So I'm not sure what to do so frustrating. There's not a single full capped frame. None. It's just getting to be a little too late in the season for them to just cap all that off. Tons of resources. Lots of pollen. Outside frame, capped honey. There are so many bees flying around here. They can just smell nectar and, and honey out. Whoa, that looks like a super seizure to me. Weird time of year to be doing that. They superseded. It's already open. Oh, there's another one. That could also be why the temperature was going crazy, because they didn't have a queen. They were superseding her, their queen. Did not expect to see that today. And another. Another queen cell. Okay, so I'm going to have to just keep an eye on this hive and hopefully they're queen right in a couple of weeks. Or I'm going to be dropping in a resource hive queen in here in late September. I mean, other than that, they, they look to be in fine shape. Their, their population is up. This hive's packed. Tons of resources. They did not swarm. That's not a swarm. I also don't want to do a mite test because I don't want to shake a virgin queen in and kill her after all that. There's, oh, there's a queen. There's a queen right there. I see a mite on a drone. I just saw a mite on a drone. That be as mites. There's a queen right here. I saw a bee with mites. All right. Issues. I gotta do a test. I'm gonna leave one super on the hive because this one's pretty close to, to stuff getting capped.
robbing event. Holy cow. Holy cow. Bees everywhere. And four weeks ago, they were at two mites. But I just saw a mite on a bee, which means there's probably a mite problem. Oh boy. We got mites. Dang. 23, 23 mites. That came out of nowhere. Four weeks ago, there were two mites. Two mites. So. Time to treat. Hey, this is Cherry Hive, my Balboa Legacy Hive. This is a Balboa, I'm sorry, Adrian's daughter's daughter. Yeah, they they used up all the stuff they had they had put up here. Because this was this was pretty heavy in July. Not heavy now. So yeah, we had a dearth in August. There's a little honey in here. It's a lot of open nectar, but you know, it's like, again, everything's half capped and half just open. Very strange year we've had. Make sure they're queen right and get a mic test. Population looks good. Okay, there's eggs all in here. Frames get heavier as I go toward that side, toward the camera. Each frame has gotten heavier and heavier with more brood. Okay, I see a lot of eggs and larvae. You know, a solid amount of brood for this size of a colony. I mean, it's, it's like a tight, a tight colony. They're good. I'd love to see the queen isolate her and get a test because I have not tested this hive since May. There she is. Okay, cherry hive results. One mite. There's one. A single mite. I was doing an inspection on this hive earlier and when I took the supers off to inspect, I noticed they started getting robbed. And when I put everything back together, the robbing got more intense and then it got really intense. So I threw a piece of burlap over the entrance and as you can see, a lot of bees have built up on the front here and it's, it's pretty hardcore. Then I noticed over here, this hive started getting robbed so I put burlap on this one, and they're still at it here. I'm trying to get in. And then I think some bees got diverted from this hive, and now they're over here. So this hive's getting hammered as well. But uh, yeah, these bees are not happy. I don't know where they're coming from, but it is crazy in the bee yard. And now the sun is down, and uh, the, the craziness seems to have stopped, but the burlap was still mm -hmm. covered with a massive beard of bees. So I just went way over outside the bee yard and shook them all off. So hopefully everyone goes back to their corners and uh, we can start fresh tomorrow. But man, I just, I, like I got to the point where I didn't want to open up any more hives because it was intense, like the, the craziest robbing I've ever seen. So 
Yeah, they're they're not being robbed now, but um, yeah, they're fanning to get their their bees back. So, all right. Uh, hopefully tomorrow's a new day. <laughs>